because most scholars, like I said before, they, they talk about uh, the connection that this woman had with the daughter. 12 years she's suffering. And 12 years that uh, how old this the little girl was. But nobody talks about the connection she had with Jesus. What connected this woman to Jesus? Mother was a contaminated connection. In other words, both this woman with the flow of blood, the issue of blood, this hemorrhaging woman, both her and Jesus were leaking. My God, the woman was dripping blood. But Jesus was dripping power. <laughs> because you cannot be the theanthropus, which means fully God trying to fit into a fully man and not leave power. You, you got to hear what I said. I'm going to say that again. I said you can't be theanthropus, which means the God man. You can't be fully God trying to fit your all that power into a man and not leave power. Sister Karen, I know he was leaking power because the Bible says that, that he felt it come out of him. I know he was leaking power because he felt a virtue, a flow. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. But the, oh God, they both had something that was unregulated and uncontrolled. She had uncontrolled hemorrhage. He had uncontrolled Power. Uh, uh, notice though the passivity of Jesus. Most times when you hear of healing in the Bible, you hear of the active work of Jesus touching somebody. But in this text, Jesus didn't touch nobody. It was the woman who touched Jesus. And I'm trying to tell somebody that if you're going to get what God has for you in this season, God said you're going to have to touch him. You gotta touch him. Tell somebody you gotta touch him. You gotta touch him in this season. You got oh God. Hallelujah. You gotta touch him. If you're gonna get it, if you're gonna get your breakthrough, if you're gonna get your healing for your soul, for your spirit, for your family, for your life, you got to touch him in this season. If you believe in somebody, say yes. If Jesus ever had a weakness, the weakness was he's leaking. He's perfect. And watch what happens. Notice the woman immediately feels the flow of her blood dry up. In other words, she, she, she's healed. And notice immediately Jesus feels the flow of his power.
that is too tough for God to get out, for God to claim. There is no hurt that's too hard for God to heal. I think I'm going to say that again. I don't care what your hurt is this morning. There is no amount of hurt that is too much for God to heal. Did y'all hear about this? But, but whatever it is, no sickness this morning. Mother, if you're watching, there is no sickness that is too dire for God to heal and make you whole and to sing. Like this woman, if we did it for this woman, who were battling with this thing for 12 years, he'll do it for you, mother. He'll do it for everybody who's wrestling out. Some of you got unspoken ailments this morning. Unspoken things that you're wrestling with that nobody knows about but God. Because he's been eavesdropping. Yeah. Ooh, God. Watch this. Watch this. He says, you just gotta trust me. Did you hear what I said? He says, in this season, what you're going through, you have to trust me. There is a difference between faith and trust. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Watch it. Faith deals with what you can see only by the Spirit. But trust deals with what you know about it. Know about what's going on. God, I don't know what's going on right now. Every time I turn on something else is happening, when it rains, it pours. I, 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 but I trust you. Yes. Yes. Oh, and I trust you. Yes. The worst time of my life. I've never been through this. And I trust you. Somebody said, Lord, I trust you. I, 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 I don't know why. I don't know why. Based on what everything that I'm seeing, it seems harder or easier to not trust you, but I trust you. I'm done with this last statement. What Jesus said to this woman, he says, he connects to this woman. I hope y'all thought of that the real contaminating connection was the power of Jesus. He says in Mark 5, 34, Jesus said, daughter, daughter, daughter of grace, church, woman, man, the church, child of God, who's been bleeding. This is what the Lord says. He says, your faith word saved in the Greek is sazo, which speaks of permanent salvation. Eternal salvation. Watch it. it, it, it. Permanent recovery. That means you don't have to ever unless he heals you, delivers you, yes. brings you up out of this. Yes. You won't ever have to worry about it relaxing. I come to tell somebody that the final word that once God brings you out of this, yes. you will never relax again. Yes. Somebody better tell their daughter, better tell their child, you better speak to yourself. God said, I receive your word, I receive it for me, I receive it for my family, I receive it for my mother, I receive it for my father, I receive it for my daughter, I receive it for my son, I receive it for my uncles, come on, I receive it for my cousin, I receive it. This healing is going to be Because of the contaminated power of the one who's leading you. 